My name is Lawrence Kai. I am one of the plastic surgery residents currently out on my professional development time and I am doing a mix of working at Google Health and also being the lab fellow for Research International. So at Google Health uh, I do a few things. So I work on uh, providing clinical context for some of the different tools that the engineers have designed largely around using your cell phone as a sensor to get things like vital signs or lab signals the way I got this job was a little bit circuitous, so I actually reached out to a classmate of mine from Stanford Med School um, earlier last year, and she said, hey, I have been working at this job at Google, it's been really fun, you might like it, let me put you in touch with my boss. And she was also leaving to go to McKinsey, so a position opened up. Uh, it was actually very fortuitous, and I feel very fortunate to have found this position. So, Research International is a uh, plastic and reconstructive surgery nonprofit that is based out of Sunnyvale. Uh, it was actually founded by one of our plastic surgery faculty, Don Laub, several years ago. And today, uh, Dr. James Chang, who is our chief of plastic surgery, is the medical officer. And so, there's been a very close connection between. Stanford Plastic Surgery Residence and Research International. Uh, the Laub Fellow every year is one usually plastic surgery resident who is out on his or her research time and we do a number of projects with them. This year I'm working on two projects, uh, one of which is helping to design a curriculum for the College of Southern, Eastern, and Central African countries. Uh, so developing an online plastic surgery curriculum for a consortium of 14 countries. And the other is working on a study to quantify the impact of surgical training, where we say, hey, if we take one surgeon and train him or her, what is the lifetime impact that the surgeon has over multiple generations of trainees, both in a context like Stanford and also in a context like Zimbabwe? Uh, this last Thanksgiving, I actually went out to Zimbabwe for a week with some of the research folks and got to introduce some of the work that we were doing on both the curriculum and the impact of training. So it's been a really great year. So I sort of started getting involved with research uh, during medical school at Stanford in 2013 and got involved with them through a program called Design for Extreme Affordability. And the task that we were given as a team was to figure out one, what are the needs of this particular hospital in Kathmandu, uh, particularly as it pertained to burn care in the perioperative space? And then the second part was once you figured out, well, what do they need, was to then go and design whatever that solution was. And what our team ended up landing on was that the hospital needed a better way to take care of acute burn patients. And so the solution that we helped to design was a skin bank. Um, it was the infrastructure, it was the hardware for storing equipment, it was the documentation, and it was also a public awareness campaign on teaching local Nepalis that you can in fact donate your skin after you pass away because up until that point there had been a history of cornea donation but no other sort of tissue donation in all of Nepal. And so we had worked with our hospital and our local partners to also create this public awareness campaign uh, that skin donation was both possible and highly necessary. In the end, I went to Nepal, I think, seven or eight times over the course of med school uh, and haven't had a chance to go back during residency, but have been dying to go. Um, my work at Google has shown me what does healthcare look like outside the walls of the hospital. I think when we're in residency or even as attendings, you see a lot of clinical medicine, specifically in the context of uh, clinical medicine. And it turns out that there's this huge apparatus of healthcare that exists outside of just the hospital. It can be in tech or insurance or in pharma. And there's all these different ways that healthcare actually works and that interfaces with the work that we do as surgeons. And so it's just been really interesting to see what some of those other pieces of the puzzle are. As for my work with uh, research, I have always had this deep interest in global surgery. Um, if nothing, I've always known that I've wanted to go out and do more work with research and go on these trips and be a visiting educator at some point once I'm fully trained and being able to work with the organization and see how they put together their programs and how they prioritize where they're going to go, how they're going to find a new partner surgeon has been really, really fun. Um, and I'm just excited to keep on working with research in the future.